Now in this question, we're asked to state the range of a function f. We're given that the function f is such that x maps onto e to the power x plus 2, where x is any real number. So to state the range of f, I know that it is f of x is any value greater than 2. That's the range. But how did I know that so easily? Well, if you're unsure, what I would suggest you do is think about what the sketch of f of x would look like. So if I was to just draw a set of axes, okay, we've got our x-axis and a y-axis, and we look at, say, the graph of f of x equaling just e to the power x. Well, that would be a graph that starts from very close to the x-axis, not crossing the x-axis back here, and then gradually rises, crossing the y-axis at 1, and then getting steeper, like so. So this would be the graph of f of x equals e to the power x. Now, we're going to add 2 to this, so what does this do to the graph? Well, we should be familiar with this. It translates the graph up by two units. So the graph is going to shift upwards by, say, two units. And we'll imagine that that's two units. So what we have now is an asymptote here. This asymptote now is two units up from the x-axis. Its equation is y equals 2. So can you see that the range for any value of x that is a real number, that's any value of x along the x-axis here, the y values that we get back are values that are greater than 2. And that's how we get our range. The range then is f of x is greater than 2.